members of the APC caucus in the House of Representatives making their way into the APC Secretariat in Abuja. It is an important meeting following the mass defection of 37 House of Representatives members from the APC on Tuesday, July the 24th. The chairman of the party assures members that the party will address the dissent and grievances expressed by members at the state level. But he sends a strong message to members of the party who defected recently. I say to those who say they are going to PDP, good, that is where you belong. If you left there because you thought that the culture of sharing the money will be further, will be deep in APC, and you have found that sharing the money is no part of it, and you choose to return back, good luck. But you must know that the access to CPN has been cut off, the access to NAPC has been cut off, the access to combating defense spending to private pocket has been cut off. After the address by the chairman, the APC lawmakers go into a closed-door session with the party leadership. Emerging from the private meeting, the lawmakers say they are resolute in their commitment to the party. The euphoria is over now, and they're beginning to see, they're beginning to feel their way, and beginning to see, oh my God, did I make a mistake? Or was this a knee-jerk reaction? Uh, why did I do this? And you know of uh, some senators who have retraced their steps. Uh, we believe that there will be members who also retrace, retrace their, their steps. Members also affirm their confidence uh, in, the, in the leadership of uh, uh, the APC, the National Working Committee, commended the National Chairman for all the legworks that uh, he has been doing. The National Chairman of the APC, Adams Oshomole, is taking a tough stance on the defection of party members. Meanwhile, the senior special assistant to President Buhari on National Assembly matters says there's a lot of room left for reconciling aggrieved party members who defected recently. All the grievances expressed by the distinguished senators and all members, none is attributed or directed at President Muhammad Buhari. A great number of them have indicated that even if they pursue their bid on different platforms, they will still campaign for the president, for President Buhari in 2019 on the platform of the APC. Senator Enang maintains that President Buhari desires a cordial working relationship with the legislature. Kayla Magua, Channels Television News.